A woman has been arrested and police are searching for two other suspects in the deaths of two men killed in the Heights back in January. Dana Ristall's body was found inside a house on West T.C. Jester. The remains of James Martin III, who reportedly lived at the house, were discovered days later in the trunk of a car at an HPD impound lot. Gerald Harris is live downtown with the new developments in this case. Gerald. Yeah, police are searching for two suspects, 26-year-old Polly Fan and 25-year-old Jaden Wynn. They're now charged with capital murder. Another suspect in this case, Kathy Vu, is being charged with tampering with evidence, and an HEB receipt may be the link in this case. Kathy Vu. A 23-year-old Harris County woman appeared in a courtroom Thursday. Kathy Booth charged with tampering with evidence. This case is assigned to the 262nd District Court. In court documents, Vu is accused of concealing a firearm and blood evidence to stifle the investigation into the deaths of two men. The defendant aided the co-defendants to conceal one of the crime scenes in a capital murder that they committed. Investigators issued a subpoena to HEB where they located a receipt for 13 items, including a bottle of bleach, iodine, cleaning sprays, and bath towels. The defendant purchased cleaning materials with the intent to assist in cleaning the crime scene in her garage. The defendant is a danger to the community. Court documents also link Vu to being the girlfriend of one of the two suspects in the case. Police say there were several boxes and bags of what appeared to be marijuana located inside of the home on West T.C. Jester Boulevard. And Vu was giving a $40,000 bond. Under the conditions of her bond, she must not have any drugs or alcohol, and she must hand over her travel documents. If you have any information about the whereabouts of the two outstanding suspects, you're asked to contact HPD. Live, Gerald Harris, KHOU 11 News. All right, let's hope some people can come forward with information. Thank you so much, Gerald.